Yo, what's up guys? This is Bart Bregman here from TorodemoTrading.com where we discuss everything out of the eToro platform. Anyway, I'm here in Sao Paulo. Today we're gonna do a, another eToro uh, tutorial video about price charts and uh, what kind of price charts are there and uh, what extra features are there hidden in the eToro platform that uh, many of your beginner traders and that new on the platform are not used to uh, or not familiar with. So. Um, we're gonna dive in my laptop now. All right, so when we're in my laptop. This is our website, TorodemoTrading.com, and uh, we got lots of uh, trading tools here and any, everything you need uh, for your trading career. Uh, sign up with a demo account. Link is is in the description, of course. Anyway, uh, our article today is about uh, price charts and what we can uh, do different with price charts and how we can read them. Uh, so we're going to log into the uh, eToro platform. Once we're logged in, we're going to go to uh, Trade Markets. Uh, we're just going to pick a asset. And uh, this example, we're going to do Apple. All right, so now we have the Apple asset selected. And then we have here, uh, we have Feed, Stats, and Charts, where we can read uh, the price movement of the chart. And um, many people think this is just it. Um, that's also why they think it's very minimal what eToro offers, but eToro does offer more. If you open here, you have to click on to open and then all of a sudden uh, all the functions of the chart become open again. Um, then eToro has many, many different charts or chart types, so we speak, and uh, it's standard standardized based set on the candles. Uh, candles, we're going to talk, talk a lot more about those. Uh, what we can read and how we can read them and what, what patterns we can see uh, out of these candles. But um, some people prefer um, other other kind of candles. All right, so holo candles, uh, they tell us a little bit more about the market. Uh, they give a little bit more information. Um, as you can see here, I have my chart on daily, daily at the moment. Uh, this is also how you can set your chart on 15 minutes, one hour, and what that represents is that uh, one candle uh, means it has uh, one hour, for example. If you put it on one hour, one candle represents one hour. And currently it is set on one day. So every candle, as you can see here, uh, every day uh, represents one candle. And now what holo charts, uh, or sorry, holo candles mean is that, um, I have to draw that out for you guys. All right, so we have two types of candles, as you can see. Uh, this is the red full body one, and this is the uh, hollow one. And what a full body means is that uh, it was higher than the previous opening price. Every candle represents the whole day at this moment, as I explained. So this candle over here uh, started at the beginning of the trading day, uh, it started lower. For example, it was here, and then it went at this point. We went into the candle, into the trading day, and then we finished our trading day all the way over here. Up. And that results in a full body candle. Now, as you can see, the price went significantly down. So this candle opened here. And then it closed the trading day lower. And lower means it becomes a hollow candle. Um, some people prefer this kind of chart. Uh, as you can see here, uh, this one would have opened here and then probably closed over here. Anyway, the easier way to show you that is click on bar charts. As you can see here, if we zoom into a, a candle or bar, as you can see, it uh, opened the trading day over here and then it closed the trading day over there. And uh, that's how bar charts work, like this. So some people prefer these, these bar charts, don't prefer the, the, the colors. Uh, trading can be emotional and this is why people sometimes like uh, not to have colors in their chart. And by this way, it becomes a little bit more uh, neutral and people uh, don't get emotional from that. Well, then we still have the line chart. 
uh, this is for old people. This is from back in the days when uh, it just connects the the line everywhere. It's it's it speak for itself. Um, you cannot read much from it, other than uh, this is a double bottom or a pick hoof pattern. We're gonna talk about patterns in many upcoming videos, but um, yeah, line charts like these they're they're not really uh, used anymore in trading because uh, you can't see many information, and uh, with candles, uh, it's much much easier to identify things. So, um, but that was not all, of course. Um, now we have all these features open here. We can also uh, uh, make a dark chart, which is uh, more convenient in the dark. Uh, some people prefer the dark chart, so uh, you can put that. But in this video, I want to keep it with. Oh, sorry. Keep it on the light chart, and um, then we can also put ourselves on the Heikeneshi candlestick. And that is uh, developed by uh, a Japanese guy uh, 300 years ago, almost, uh, yeah, I think 1700s it was, something like that. I don't, don't remember his name, uh, not that big of a deal. But as you can see, um, with the Heikeneshi candlesticks, it uh, prints the, the candles in a different alg algorithm. We're going to talk about that in a future video as well. But there's a different way of, um, of chart. As you can see here, there are no, there is much less volatility because if I switch back to the regular one, you can see that the regular one has much more up and down movement. Uh, so the Heikeneshi candlestick uh, irons out the, the volatility, so we speak, with an arg algorithm. And uh, that can be very helpful if you like that particular chart. Then we have the Ranko chart as well. Um, similar to the Heikeneshi candlestick, uh, works a little different. But I have to be honest with you, I, I never used this chart. Uh, I have not had many experience with it. Uh, me, myself, I'm also still a learning trader, so maybe I will do a video about this when I finally uh, found my time to, uh, to discover this type of indicator. But what I prefer personally is the regular candlesticks because I can uh, read many, many data from it but it all depends on your personal preference. Also another extra feature that we can uh, represent here is the uh, study indicators. Uh, eToro has many many indicators for example here the MACD is a very popular one and by this way you can add on indicators to your chart which can be very helpful and you can set them up manualize them but uh, we're going to talk about in other videos Anyway, there you have it, uh, chart types on the eToro platform. I hope uh, I brought some new features to, to light for you guys. Um, go to my website, torodemotrading.com. There's more information there about this. I will link, put links in the description. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and happy trading.